What is up, my tiki friends? Okay, y'all, uh, this is Tony, Big Daddy's Bear Cave. Thank you so much for joining me on my tiki adventure. Just a quick note, remember, if you like content like this, remember to like and subscribe. Y'all, I appreciate it. It means the world to me. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the video. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this is because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. I grew up around Tiki. I grew up in Southern California. It's part of our culture. My dad drove me down PCH in his 55 pickup. Grew up in Orange County. Did not appreciate Tiki when I was a kid. I loved it. Wore Hawaiian shirts. My dad took me to Tiki bars, but I just didn't get it in the way I get it now. <laughs> As a older man, <laughs> so to speak. Um, Y'all, this last past year, I have taken a deep dive into Tiki. And I am so grateful to this community. I'm so grateful to meet such amazing people that love Tiki just as much as I do. Um, I am grateful to meet Tiki artists and people that are just enthusiastic like y'all. So this is the reason why I'm making this. I wanna make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did. This video is all about how not to buy fake Tiki. <laughs> Okay, so let me kind of get right down to the point. Um, this is a real tiki, by the way. I put my Surfside Sips uh, straw in there so we know, well, we know just by looking at which one is the real, which one's the fake. Okay, so there are some mugs that are an homage. Um, one that always comes to my mind is Mr. Fu Manchu. You really don't see a, you could buy a vintage uh, Mr. Fu Manchu, but you don't really see new mugs of obviously Fu Manchu, unless it's like an homage that is a cool mashup like Mike Dughorn, love this mug. Um, there's there's so many great Tiki artists who've done really cool mashups, but I'm just telling you, this is not a vintage Fu Manchu mug. This is a mug uh, that you would get in a lot of Tiki bars that just kind of, they, they might serve you this um, in this type of mug. It's, it's, it's a modern mug. It was very cheap and inexpensive. Got it on a cool site. But what I'm telling you is this is something that is an homage. And I get that. But what you really don't want to do is you don't want to buy something that's a straight up fake. Now, my wife is a huge coach fan. If I went and bought her a fake coach back in the day and brought it to her and I said, this is the real thing, boy, I would be in some trouble. And y'all, that's kind of what not doing your research sometimes does. Um, I'm gonna show you an example of some recent mugs that I got. Let me get this bad boy out of the way. Let me get the good guy in the way. <laughs> um, I bought these vintage mugs at a antique store. This is Orchards of Hawaii. I know that Orchards of Hawaii made this mug. Uh, they, the shop owner had this listed as a vintage mug, but I, I have a feeling this it's old, but I don't think it's, it's, I think it's, again, something done like in his homage. Um, Orchards of Y, I don't believe is in business anymore. They're both probably like 70s, who knows, maybe 80s. I'm pretty sure this is 70s, uh, 60s, something like that. This is the type of mug that back in the day, someone would have got at Goodwill for like a buck 50. Like in the early 2000s, that's what I should have been doing. And now that I'm 40 and it's 2021, <laughs> I'm paying like, I basically pay like 15 bucks for this guy. Um, still a good deal. If I would have got him on eBay, you would have been paying a lot more because of shipping. Okay, y'all. So I went on Amazon and I got that guy. I wanted a deal. I did a video about it. And at the end of the video, I said, if anyone has any more information, I've seen different variants of this because I had seen this mug uh, in so many different places. I, I would notice this mug. And I, I didn't I didn't do my research, but I was like, wow, that's so cool. I've always wanted that mug. $15, pull the trigger. It's delivered in two days. And then I do my video. It's called the Maori. I love Maori culture. I love indigenous culture. I'm a huge fan. I have, I have friends from that are from New Zealand that are Maori. And this was labeled as the Maori. He's not a Maori. Okay. <laughs> He's definitely not a Maori. He's the whack whack. Uh, the angry headhunter. So after I did my video, which I did because I love it, um, I actually had 
the designer reach out to me and he's just the coolest guy Philippe and Philippe I might be saying your name wrong so forgive me uh Tillicate, I believe um he is awesome y'all he's so cool he is this great designer who's done work in Hollywood I've done character designs for some of the coolest movies that we all know and love he has been doing Tiki for a long long time he's a graphic designer y'all I'm all about supporting your artists um through this last year, I've got to know so many amazing artists. Odd Rodney, uh, Oakwash, oh good, goodness gracious, people like Van Tiki. Uh, even like manufacturers like Tiki Farm. I, I, I've talked with some of the guys from there and who, who do these amazing work. Um, goodness, I mean, there's just so many great artists out there. I, I could go on and on. And the thing that I love about this community is that especially if you follow these folks on Instagram and you reach out to them, if you have questions, you know, ask, talk to people. They, they, they're as just as passionate about obviously making this beautiful artwork. Here's another one of Philippe's uh, amazing designs. This is the one for Frankie's Tiki Room. Uh, this is the Frankenstein. I love it because it's hefty. I'm a big man and I don't feel like I'm gonna drop this guy. I dig it. I love the artwork. I love the almost like the Misfits look to it. He's like a punk Frankenstein. I, I love it. Got my Surfside Sips in there. Okay. So he reached out to me and he was like, that is not, a, it's not a Maori. He's a headhunter. He gave me the cool information about him and like have his backstory. Y'all, this is a favorite. And really what I should have done, I'm gonna show you right now, is I should have opened up and did my research. Y'all, this is awesome. Go to the search for Tiki. You can find out so much information on there. Uh, great sites like the search for Tiki, another one I love to use. I'm gonna pull it up right here for you. This is mytiki.life. And I know that there's some great Tiki sites out there, uh, but <sighs> join these groups, join the Facebook groups. Um, I have learned so much from even just joining, like Tiki Dawn has a great trading group on on Facebook. Uh, Tiki Dawn's, T Tiki Dawn's uh, Mug Trading Madness. You know, check out that stuff. Educate yourself, because it's a big difference. I'm just gonna show you a couple things that just really stood out to me, okay? Look at the bottom here. See that beautiful design? In this copy, you're not getting that. It's just a smooth edge. Look at the skulls and how they're formed, how, how much detail's in there. It's obvious they just copied this. They, they made a copy. I'm sure their mold shrank. I'm sure they had to add uh, clay to it and they probably formed it different. They've changed things in this, probably enough so they don't get sued or they should be. Um, I feel stupid. Now, it was really cool. I know Philippe, when he talked to me, he didn't make me feel stupid. He, he just, uh, was so kind and so awesome to share that with me. But I, I was talking to him like, I really want to get the original mug and I want to do a video because I don't want people making the same mistake I made. And even when you look at the bottom of this, it says Tiki Soul. That's just, you know, basically they, they rip off mugs. And you know, you, you look in the bottom, it, it has his name. It's manufactured by Tiki Farm 2012. Uh, like I mentioned, I reached out to Philippe and I was like, I really want to get this mug. And, it, you know, this hasn't been, you can't get it from Tiki Farm right now. So I went to the secondary market. I went to eBay. I actually spent about, was shipping about 50 to 60 bucks right about there uh, for this guy. And I am so happy to finally have him in the bear cave, y'all. <sighs> Do your research. That's the biggest thing. In the comments below, if you know any other great sites for doing research, um, put it on there. Let, let's all help each other out. If you like what I'm telling you right now, and you have any questions, or you know you've had this, you've made the same mistake, let me know, um, y'all. The comments tell people like the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you watch it. I put these videos in all platforms. It just helps me share that. It helps me kind of spread that tiki ohana. But y'all. Keep your eyes out there, do your research. It makes me sometimes feel silly, but I'd rather tell you guys about that and 
I'm just so happy to have corrected the mistake and got the right mug in the bar. It's a lot different when you're, you're talking about mugs that are maybe uh, have been manufactured since the 50s. It's different when you have local artists and you have uh, just amazing people who are true artisans. Like right here, I have this awesome Ikambuka mug. I'm so excited to get that one. I, I got, <laughs> I gotta do a video on this guy right here. Tiki Shark, Don the Beachcomber mug. You know what, y'all? It's all just about supporting your artists. Go on Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead um, and, and follow these folks. Go on Instagram and follow them because it is all about being in the know. It's all about just sharing your knowledge. Anyway, y'all, I had to make this video. I had to share it with you. Um, you guys keep teaking. And again, thanks so much for watching.